Question 1. What is a circuit breaker? Answer. Circuit breaker is a mechanical device designed to close or open contact members, thus closing or opening an electrical circuit under the normal or abnormal conditions. Question 2. How does a circuit breaker different from switch? Answer. Switch is just a device when can be able to open and close the circuit during normal operation. Whereas on the other hand circuit breaker has the ability to open and close the contacts during abnormal or fault conditions. Thus circuit breaker has the potential to break and make heavy short circuit currents. Auto reclosures in the circuit breaker has the ability to reclose after certain design duration to verify whether the short circuit was cleared. Question 3. What is meant by making capacity of the circuit breaker? Answer. The making capacity of the circuit breaker when closed on a short circuit is the peak value of the maximum current wave, including DC component, in the first cycle of the current after the circuit is closed by the circuit breaker. Question 4. Why current chopping is not common in oil circuit breakers? Answer. Current chopping is not common in oil circuit breakers because in most of the oil circuit breakers the arc extinguishing power is proportional to the magnitude of current to be interrupted. Question 5. Name the materials used for the contacts of vacuum circuit breakers. Answer. Copper bismuth, copper lead, copper tellurium, silver bismuth, silver lead and silver tellurium are some of the alloys employed as contact materials in the vacuum circuit breakers. Question 6. What are the duties of circuit breakers? Answer. Some of the duties of the circuit breakers are listed below. Interruption of small inductive currents. Switching of unloaded transmission lines and unloaded cables. Switching of capacitor banks and reactors. Interruption of terminal faults. Interruption of short line faults. Asynchronous switching. Question 7. What is the meaning of rupturing capacity of a circuit breaker? Answer. Rupturing capacity of a circuit breaker means the maximum power a circuit breaker can interrupt under a fault. It is usually expressed in megavolt ampere MVA and it is then the product of the rated breaking current in kilo amperes and rated voltage expressed in kilo volts. Question 8. What do you mean by the term making current and breaking current of a circuit breaker? Answer. The making current of a circuit breaker is the total maximum current peak which occurs during the first cycle immediately after the circuit is closed on a short circuit. The breaking current of a circuit breaker is the total maximum current peak that can be safely broken by the circuit breaker at the time of separation of the contacts at its rated voltage. Question 9. What do you understand by the term short circuit MVA? How is the breaking capacity specified? Answer. Short circuit MVA is the rupturing capacity or breaking capacity of a circuit breaker in case of a three-phase symmetrical fault which determines the size of the circuit breaker. The breaking capacity of a circuit breaker is specified either in terms of symmetrical breaking current MVA or asymmetrical breaking current MVA. Question 10. Why is it necessary to know the fault level at the incoming point of supply? Who furnishes this information? Answer. To select the MVA rating of the circuit breaker of a high voltage installation the fault level at the incoming point of supply must be known. Power supply authority furnishes the fault level. Question 11. What do you mean by asymmetrical breaking current and symmetrical breaking current? Answer. The asymmetrical breaking current is the RMS the value of the total current at the initial instant of contact separation and is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the symmetrical breaking current and of the direct component of the current at the same instant. The symmetrical breaking current is the RMS the value of the symmetrical current AC component of current at the initial instant of contact separation. Actually. The rating of the breaker is specified in terms of symmetrical breaking current and voltage. Question 12. How are the rating of a circuit breaker given? Answer. The rating of a circuit breaker are given by the maximum voltage in kV, the maximum continuous current carrying capacity in amperes, the maximum interrupting capacity in MVA and kilo amperes, TA, the supply frequency, the making capacity in amperes. Question 13. What is the importance of Bayes' Croix in short circuit calculations? Answer. As the various equipment used in the power system have different KVA rating with different percentage reactances so for easy calculation it is necessary to find the percentage reactances of all equipment on a common KVA rating. This common KVA rating is known as Bayes' KVA. 
Question 14. What do you mean by the recovery voltage of a circuit breaker? Answer. The recovery voltage is defined to be the RMS the value of the line voltage of service frequency that reappears across the poles of the circuit breaker shot after arc extinction in all the poles and after damping of the transient phenomena. Question 15. What is the difference between low voltage circuit breakers and high voltage circuit breakers? Answer. Low voltage circuit breakers are used in indoor control gears for controlling power consuming devices of circuits below rated voltage 1000 volt AC or 1200 volt DC whereas high voltage circuit breakers are used in both indoor and outdoor controllers in high voltage supply system. Low voltage circuit breakers operate frequently than the high voltage circuit breaker. Low voltage circuit breakers are more compact than high voltage circuit breakers because of less face-to-face -face and face-to-ground clearances. Testing requirements of a high voltage circuit breaker are quite different from those of low voltage circuit breakers.